Welcome back. In this video, I would like to show you how to install Python and the necessary libraries in order for you to be able to run the simulations in Python. I'll first start with Linux, Ubuntu, and then in the next video I'm gonna do it in Windows. At the time of this recording, the Python version that you should install is Python 3.8.5. The newest out there is 3.9, however, I've checked that and the libraries such as NumPy and Matplotlib, they don't work well with Python 3.9 yet. I guess it's too new. Perhaps they will later, but not at the time of this recording. So you should have Python 3.8.5. If you have Ubuntu 20.04, like I have it here, then Python 3.8.5 should come by default along with NumPy. You can check the version in terminal like this. Python 3 and then two dashes and then version. So you see I have Python 3.8.5. And you can check the version of NumPy like this. Python 3 dash C then you put here a quotation mark, import numpy, semicolon, print, and then you're gonna put here numpy dot, then you have two underlines here, and then you're gonna put version, then another two underlines, and then another quotation mark here. So here I have numpy 1.17.4. That's what I received by default. These two things I received by default when I installed my Ubuntu 20.04. If you don't have Python 3.8, then you can install it with these commands. sudo opt update, and you put your password here. So it will give you some upgrades, and then you will write sudo which is super user, then opt install software dash properties dash common, then I'm gonna write sudo add dash apt repository ppa colon dead snakes, then slash and PPA. So I'm gonna press enter and then I'm gonna write sudo opt and then update then sudo apt install python 3.8 not 3.9, 3.8 and then to check the version you write python 3 dash dash version and then, if you don't have NumPy, you can add it like this. sudo apt install python3 dash numpy. And so to check the version, you will have python3 dash c, then quotation mark, import numpy, print, parenthesis, numpy dot, then two underlines, version, two underlines, and then you will have a quotation mark here. So that's your NumPy version here. And now you have to get the matplotlib library as well. You can do it with these commands. sudo apt update, then sudo apt install python3 dash PIP. PIP is a Python package installer. So you check the version of your PIP. So PIP for Python 3 would be PIP 3, then dash dash, and then version. So here it is. And now you write PIP 3 install matplotlib two equal signs, and then 3.2.2. And now you can run the code, but this is very important. 
you have to run it in Linux terminal or Windows command prompt. Do not use IDEs like Spider or Jupyter Notebook. The animation does not want to work well in there. The most robust way is to run it from terminal or from Windows command prompt. So I have a file here, calculus sim pid train.py and I want to run it. So in my terminal I will go to my desktop. So change directory or cd desktop enter. I can see all my stuff here with an ls command and so in order to run this file I'm gonna write python 3 and then calculus sim pid train.py and there you go it works and now to install moviepy in Ubuntu you have to write sudo pip3 install moviepy and finally to install pillow in Ubuntu you need to write pip3 install pillow so that has been in Linux and now let's see how to do this in Windows.